Well, welcome back. So, uh, apparent, according to research, Beetlejuice has a binary star, or had. Um, but, anyways, Beetlejuice, also known as Alpha Uranus, or Alpha Ori, which we just call Beetlejuice, is the second closest red supergiant to Earth. From November... 2019 to March 2020, this star experienced a, a historic dimming of its visible brightness, usually having an apparent magnitude between 0.1 and 1. Its visual brightness decreased to 1.6 magnitudes um, around the 7th through the 13th of February of 2020. An event referred to as Betelgeuse's Great Dimming, new research shows that the observed dimming is probably caused by an unseen companion star orbiting Betelgeuse, named Alpha Ori B, or I guess Betelgeuse B, the Beetle Buddy. This companion acts like a snowplow as it orbits Betelgeuse, pushing light blocking dust out of the way and temporarily making Betelgeuse seem brighter. The Betelgeuse, the second brightest star in the constellation Orion, is eight million miles is an eight million year old red supergiant approximately 724 light years with a radius about 1400 times larger than the sun's betelgeuse is one of the biggest known stars it is also the most luminous stars known emitting more than a hundred thousand suns the star is nearing the end of its lifespan and when it explodes the event will be bright enough to see during the day for weeks. Astronomers can predict when Betelgeuse will explode by effectively checking its pulse. It's a variable star, meaning it gets brighter and dimmer, pulsing like a heartbeat. In Betelgeuse's case, there is two heartbeats, one that pulses on a timescale a little longer than a year, and one that pulses on a timescale about six years. One of these heartbeats is Betelgeuse's fundamental mode, a pattern of brightening and dimming that's and centric to the star. And Conway's now a typhoon. That'll be a video after this. Um, if the star's fundamental mode in its long scale heartbeat, then Betelgeuse would likely could be ready to blow sooner than expected. However, if its fundamental mode is in a short scale heartbeat, as several studies as several studies suggest, then its longer heartbeat is a phenomenon called a second long secondary period in that case this longer brightening and dimming would be caused by something external to the star scientists still don't know for sure what caused long secondary periods but one leading theory is that they arise when a star has a companion that circles it and barrels through the cosmic dust that is produced and expelled by the star the displaced dust alters how much starlight reaches earth changing the star's apparent brightness. Flat Iron Institute astrophysicist Jared Goldberg and his colleagues explored whether other processes may have caused a long secondary period, such as the churning of the star's interior or periodic changes in the star's powerful magnetic field. <coughs> After combining data from direct observations of Betelgeuse, which with advanced computer models that simulate the star's activity, the researchers concluded that the Beetle Buddy is by far the most likely explanation. We ruled out every in intrinsic source of variability that we could think of as to why the brightening and dimming was happening in this way. The only hypothesis that seems to fit is that Betelgeuse has a companion. The authors have yet to determine exactly what the Beetle Buddy is, but they assume it's a star of up to twice the sun's mass. It is difficult to say what the companion actually is beyond providing mass and orbital constraints, said Dr. Meredith Joyce, an astronomer at the University of Wyoming. A sun-like star is the most probable type of companion, but that is no means conclusive. Next, the team will try to snap images of the Beetle Buddy with telescopes as there will be a potential window of visibility around December 6th of 2024.
We need to confirm that Beetle Buddy actually exists since our research is based on interference, not on direct detection, said Dr. Laszlo Molnar, an astronomer at Concoli Observatory. So we, uh, so we're working on observation proposals now. Um, now, I'm not ruling out the possibility that there could also be planets orbiting Betelgeuse. Um, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case, if there is planets orbiting Betelgeuse or the companion star, or orbiting both, that is a possibility too, um, but l unlikely, well, even if there is planets with how bright and huge Betelgeuse is, it would be hard to detect, virtually impossible to detect, but... Who knows, maybe aiming James Webb at it would definitely um, get that mystery solved. So, but, yeah. Um, also, if said binary star were to collide with Betelgeuse, it is theoretically possible it could, uh, it could buy Betelgeuse some more time because it would provide more hydrogen and helium for it to, um, consume. So, with that, that's about it. Stay safe out there. Link will be in the description box below. See you in the next video. Bye.